In this video, I'll show you how I do my one-handed cut re-trigger. I came up with re-trigger in 2014 as I was practicing Trigger by Nikolai Peterson. I then accidentally split the packet in two and I pretty much instantly knew that I had something quite interesting. Then I got it down, I put it in my video offhand and back then it was just the one split and then I closed it right after. And that's cool and all, but not as cool as the running or the continuous version which I came up with shortly thereafter. Now, re-trigger is a perfect combo move. As I said, you can do this continuously. It's also not as difficult as a lot of other one-handed running cuts. And um, it's a flourish with a lot of movement in it, so you can really sort of add your own personal style to the cut. Now, I'll go over first of how I get into re-trigger, how I close it, I'll show you the insane four packet version. Well, one of the packets is actually a single card, but you get the idea. And most importantly, I will guide you through a very, very subtle detail in the mechanics that'll just make it way easier for you to get this, uh, this down and get it up and running. So let's get to it. So first off, you wanna get into a modified scissor cut grip, like so, where you're holding the packet on the long edges instead of the short ones. And how I usually get to that position is either from a chalier cut add-on, like so, or you can do this thing as well. You can do the classic, just turning the packet like so, then doing re-trigger. But what I do the most is actually sort of a modified um, revolution cut uh, technique, where you split the packet, middle finger goes out of the way, index finger goes down here towards the center of the long edge, because it's pretty important later on that you're holding the packet that you're gonna split um, right in the center of the, the long edges. From here, you can use your ring finger to help this corner of the base packet to clear the index finger, just like so and then you're pretty much ready to go. So from here, you want to let the base packet fall a bit deeper into the palm or into these three fingers that are holding it. And then the uh, look at my thumb and middle finger. They're basically gonna move towards each other and touch, just like so. So once again, get to here. Base packet goes a bit deeper into the palm and thumb and middle finger moves towards each other and connects. So this is where it gets a little bit more tricky because now you're gonna split this packet in two. And how do you do that? You basically, you're basically gonna transfer part of the control that you have uh, using your thumb you're gonna transfer the bottom part, a small portion of this packet from the bottom onto the middle finger. Uh, it's gonna be the long edge here, and it's gonna uh, be held right underneath the, uh, the first joint of your middle finger. So let's take a look. As you can see, the, uh, the thumb and middle finger are just barely touching each other. Now, you're gonna push in with the index finger a little bit so that um, the middle finger can take over the, a small part of this packet from the bottom on the long edge. And then you're gonna push in, or push the, the middle finger and thumb towards each other even more, and that is gonna split off a small packet back here in the opposite direction of where that packet is going in a second. And this is the most important part of re-trigger, of the mechanics. Um, because it will just make it way easier for you to get this down and for you to get this, this fast. So once again, because this is really important, you're gonna, uh, your middle and thumb is gonna connect uh, a small part of, the, uh, of this packet from the bottom is gonna be held between the middle and the index finger. And then you're gonna push these two fingers uh, towards each other even more. And that will, as I said before, make a small portion of this packet being split off in, uh, in the opposite direction, in this direction. So once again, just like that, you see that? That small packet is now gonna go on bottom of the base packet, just like so. So you've now split the packet in two. 
And now this small packet is going to go on bottom of the base packet. And how you do that is by moving the index finger towards yourself just a little bit. And the index finger is going to go to the long edge of the base packet so that the, the smaller packet can align on bottom. Now the thumb is going to open up and actually your whole hand is going to open up just a little bit. Um, so look at my index finger and thumb. Index finger is moving towards myself. Thumb is opening up and the index finger is making sure that the, the split off packet goes on bottom of the base packet and uh, stays aligned. So now you can either just close everything by placing that packet on bottom or you can get into the running version uh, which is simply done by repeating the actions that I've just explained and it's a good idea to split off smaller packets that way you can keep going and I also usually add some wrist movement just a little bit that'll make it look like there's a lot more happening it really adds movement to retrigger. So for the four packet version of retrigger, I suggest you get retrigger or the running retrigger down first. Um, and instead of just splitting that packet and placing it on bottom, you're gonna split the packet and at the same time strip off a single card from the bottom of the base packet using your thumb. And it's a good idea to have a little bit of moisture on your thumb. That way you maintain control of that single, just like so. And it's very important how your thumb is placed or positioned on the, the long edge of the packet. Now, I usually hold the packet sort of on the side of my thumb. That way I have a lot of room to move this around. Then I uh, split the packet in two and at the same time strip out the single. And in the beginning, it's just sort of resting on the thumb, just like so. Then as soon as this packet gets placed on bottom of the base packet, the single gets clipped between the thumb, because I'm changing the, uh, the grip of my thumb. So it's gonna get clipped between the thumb and the long edge of this packet. And how you, uh, and the way you place the, the single card on bottom is simply by repeating retrigger. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions about Retrigger, please uh, hit me up. Also, let me know down below what you wanna learn next in the next tutorial, and I will see you then.